I'm Pam Bilyeu. I'm from Wisconsin, and I live just a half hour away from the famous Green Bay Packer and frozen tundra of Green Bay. I was born um, hearing impaired, which uh, they didn't figure out until I was in second grade that I was actually 80% deaf and um, that I needed hearing aids. And then when I was about 30 years old, 38 years old, my vision started to decline. So it was discovered that I have Usher's syndrome, which is a combination of the hearing loss as well as retinitis pigmentosa. So within three years of that diagnosis, I was legally blind. So I worked as a, a nurse for 24 years prior to that and, and had to subsequently quit nursing because I was unable to care for the patients that I took care of. I had ventilator patients with lots of tubes and machines. I could no, long, no longer take care of those, those things without putting them in danger. Um, at first, I tried to pretend <laughs> like I still was a normal vision person and just limited where I went. Um, people bumped into me. I'd pretend like it was their fault. <laughs> but then uh, I went to a school of the blind in Milwaukee for evaluation. And that was where I got my first introduction to O&M training, my first cane. But it took me six months before I decided to use that cane. Um, it took a fall in a four by four hole that I didn't see in the sidewalk as I was walking along because I had just enough vision to get me in trouble basically. I just didn't see everything that was there. And uh, my husband insisted that I start using the cane, which um, I really hated. Um, my friends kept saying, you need a dog, you need a guide dog. So I started researching and came upon the Guide Dog Foundation. So now I have this girl, four years, her name Piper. Yeah, you know your name. The cane is not going to pull me around. <laughs> and that's what she does. I, I don't even have to think. She, she knows there's a crack there, there's something there, there's a person coming. Just, I, I felt so much normal, more normal, walking around with her as opposed to the cane. So, she's a thinking cane, aren't you? I think the thing I was most impressed with with the Guide Dog Foundation, they, they have a, a dollar figure about how much it costs to produce a dog from breeding and through puppyhood and through the lifetime of the dog when they're with you as a guide. And that's about $50,000, $60,000. But that doesn't calculate. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Doesn't calculate the human cost. There are so many hands that go into the dog. Oh boy, I got to take a breath. Mm -mm. So many people that give up their time, that donate hours that pick people up from the airport when they come in for class, that pick up puppies from the airport, the puppy raisers, the, the puppy supervisors, um, the people that, uh, oh, we had volunteers that would take us out for outings when we were here in class, the puppy walkers that come in on the weekends and make sure the dog get exercise, uh, they're just, a phenomenal number of people. I just learned about this sewing group and all they do is sew little capes for the puppies to wear that identifies them as a guide dog in training. There's more hand. So that fifty, sixty thousand dollars really rocks up. So there's just a lot of very wonderful people who wanna help this.